morning uh, there is a small uh, problem which i am going to explain in this uh, video this is a physics problem so here they have given that uh, a ball is dropped from a tower of 100 meters height simultaneously another ball was thrown upwards from the bottom of the tower with a speed of 50 meters per second so they will cross each other after how many seconds so take g is equal to 10 meters per second square that's what is a given information so first uh, let's uh, try to draw a, a picture of this uh, problem that is so you to take that this is the tower this is the tower which is of uh, about 100 meters so let's draw this tower the tower is like this okay so this tower is about about 100 meters height this is the given information so that is the 100 meters height So sorry about that. So this is the 100 meters height. So given the, that this is 100 meters height, and so there are two uh, balls uh, drop. That is from the top, one ball is dropped with a speed of some speed, okay, and from the bottom also another ball is dropped. So there there should be a point where these two guys will meet. So, the, somewhere in the middle, the first ball and second ball will be meeting. So, we need to find out at which hour, at which second, after which time it will, they will meet. So, that is the thing. So, in, a, in order to solve this problem, first let us take given data. Always write to, try to write the given data. So, that is, in the first, first case, so I am drawing a section like this. So, in the first case, okay, first case, the ball is coming from upward, from the top of the tower to the down. So, in that case, the initial velocity will be 0 because it is just started from there. So, final velocity we don't know, time also we don't know, okay. So, in this case, let us take S is equal to, how much distance it has traveled S is equal to ut plus of at square. So, in this case, you substitute u is equal to 0. So, this term will go to become 0. So, because 0 into t is 0 plus half a t square. a is equal to given as a 10. So, 10 into t square. So, you can keep it like this. So, this becomes 2 pi is a 10. That is 5 t square. So, this is 5 t square. So, s1. So, that is the distance covered by the first ball is 5 t square. Okay. Now, the second case. Take the second case. In the second case, the ball is thro thrown from the bottom to the top. So, the bottom uh, to the top. In this case, the u2, that is the velocity of the second ball, initial velocity is given as 50 meters per second. So, we don't know the final velocity. We don't know uh, anything else other than that a acceleration is given as 10 meters uh, per second square. So, in this case, we have to take it as negative because it is going upwards. So, we can take it as 10 minus 10 meters per second square. So, now the, let's calculate the S2 that is the distance covered by the second ball that is <coughs> that becomes ut plus half at square same same formula. So, here you can substitute the u is equal to 50, 50 uh, meters per second and t we don't know. So, that is 50 into t plus half into minus a that is a is equal to 10 but we take it take it as a minus 10 into t square so in this case so in this case because it is going upwards so we are taking as negative so now let us calculate this thing so that becomes so here it is 50 t square 50 t uh, it is actually 50 t uh, not only just so this is 50 t so 50 t plus half of half of uh, that is the half this uh, half into minus 10 is minus 5 t square so now we have s2 is equal to s2 is equal to 50 t plus uh, minus 5 t square okay so now we have s1 here and s2 here so what is the uh, 
given data it's given that s is equal to the distance to be covered is equal to 100 meters 100 meters that is that is nothing but s is equal to s1 plus s2 which is equal to 100 so therefore if you if you take s1 is given we have calculated s1 is 5 t square and s2 is 50 t here s2 right this this whole thing is s2 s2 is 50 t minus 5 t square so if you uh, sum up this one you will remain with 50 t okay the s is equal to 50 t but s is also equal to 100 meters so therefore you can get it like 50 t is equal to 100 meters so which means we can get t is equal to that is 100 divided by 50 which is nothing but 2 seconds so here essentially what we are getting is after 2 seconds the two balls will meet at certain place we don't know so here the time the time at which the ball coming from top to bottom and the ball coming from upward um, I mean bottom to top they will meet after 2 seconds so that is the solution for this question thank you